Hi, this is Helal. In this video on mathematical economic series, we will try to solve a problem on finding Gini coefficient from a Lorentz curve. The question is like this. When Lorentz function is given, we are being given the Lorentz function that is f of x is equal to x to the power 3.3. Find the Gini coefficient. We need to find the Gini coefficient. The options are 56.18, 53.48, 23.18 or 11.1. Okay. Uh, let's uh, try to understand what is meant by uh, this Gini coefficient. Actually, this uh, Gini coefficient uh, is a single uh, number that demonstrates uh, this Gini coefficient. Uh, if I write here, Gini coefficient uh, is a single number. Okay, it is a single number. Single number, uh, which demonstrates the degree of. Uh, it shows us the degree of uh, income income uh, inequality or wealth inequality okay so this guinea coefficient is a single number which uh, de uh, depicts the degree of inequality in a country okay and how do we calculate it let us first try to uh, uh, understand or uh, let's first try to solve this very question then i will uh, explain you how do we calculate this guinea coefficient okay so we have a function let me draw the graph here okay let us use this for measuring uh, the income so on this axis we have cumulative percent of population so we have cumulative uh, percent of uh, population and on this axis we have cumulative uh, percent of income okay and what is our uh, function what is our Lorentz function it is uh, f of x is equal to x to, uh, to the power 3.3 and our Lorentz curve will look like this in this case so we have this very this is our Lorentz function and this denotes uh, x x to the power 3.3 okay this is our Lorentz curve and also in this case we have a line of perfect equality okay so i will explain what is meant by this very thing okay now by this uh, uh, black line this black line uh, is called the line of perfect equality okay and it says that everyone has same income okay if i write here so we have cumulative per, uh, percent of population let us say we have here 10 uh, 20 30 uh, 40 and up to 100 percent here okay similarly we have here 10 percent uh, 20 percent 30 percent so on up to 100 percent okay so we have here cumulative percent of uh, population okay uh, in cumulative form and we have uh, the income cumulative income okay this line uh, this black line shows us that everyone has same level of income that means 10 percent of population gets 10 uh, percent of in income okay the, uh, the points on this line shows us this similarly 20 percent of the population uh, gets 20 percent of total wealth or income in the country similarly 40 percent of uh, the 40% of the population gets 40% of income okay so this shows us the perfect equality this very line okay and remember uh, the guinea coefficient lies between 0 and 1 okay and 0 uh, shows us perfect in a uh, perfect equality okay perfect equality and this one shows us perfect inequality okay perfect inequality by perfect equality uh, this is denoted by this uh, black line it shows when everyone has same income okay and you can also interpret it like this uh, that, that let us say 10 percent of the poorest uh, or poorest 10 percent of population has same income as the 10 uh, percent of the richest person okay uh, what does this mean this means that each citizen has same say uh, sorry same share of the total income of the country okay and uh, by 
this is denoted by 0 and by 1 1 means that 1% 1 of uh, uh, if we get the Gini coefficient is 1 it simply means that 1% uh, in the country owns everything okay 1% in the country owns everything everything okay and 99% of population have no income okay actually i have made a detailed video on laura's go and guinea coefficient okay so i will not go into the detail we will try to solve the question okay and how do we do it uh, what uh, uh, graphically if we can find the value how do we find it is actually guinea coefficient is given by guinea coefficient is given by the area of uh, uh, this line which is above the Laurus curve and uh, Laurus curve and below the line of perfect equality okay this will that is equal to a upon a plus b okay we divide uh, this a denotes this very area and we divide it by this whole area this whole area is composed of a plus b and this very thing gives us guinea coefficient okay but here we need to use the calculus we need to uh, use the integral because we are being given a function okay and le uh, let me uh, try to show it now how do we calculate uh, this lower curve so let's draw the graph here as i have told first we write uh, this line of perfect equality okay and let us say this is our Laurus go Laurus go and this function is actually x to the power 3.3 .3, okay now what is guinea coefficient guinea coefficient is given by guinea coefficient is given by the integral definite integral from 0 to 1 we have 2 here actually uh, is equal to 2 times the definite integral from 0 to 1 then uh, this is our x okay because it is it has same slope so it is um, it is x here okay so it is given by x minus this uh, Laurus curve which is x to the power x to the power 3.3 .3 dx okay so we integrate uh, uh, from 0 to 1 okay and first we find the area of this value triangle that means the area of this triangle and to this we subtract uh, this very area that is the area which lies uh, below uh, this red line okay which is x to the power 3.3 .3. and what will be here if so this is 2 how do we integrate the uh, integral of x is x square upon 2 minus the integral of uh, this x uh, to the power 3.3 .3 is x to the power 3.3 .3 plus 1 by the rules of integration and this exponent is divided that is 3.3 .3 plus 1 and we need to take the integral from 0 to 1 okay so this is 2 let me write it like uh, x square upon 2 minus x to the power of 4.3 upon 4.3 and we need to integrate from 0 to 1 now if we evaluate it uh, at the upper limit and then at lower limit so what will be our answer so let us say this is our 2 now first we need to evaluate at upper limit that means we need to give x the value as 1 okay first so if we give x value as 1 so this is 1 square upon 2 minus 1 to the power 4.3 upon 4.3 okay then we need to subtract and evaluate at the lower limit that means we need uh, now to integrate at the lower limit what is our lower limit that is uh, 0 so the value of x will be 0 so we have 0 square upon 2 minus uh, 0 to the power 4.3 upon 4.3 okay now what is uh, what does this come out to be so we have 2 1 square upon 2 is 0 0.5 or we can write it like this 1 upon 2 and then we have 1 to the power 4.3 it is 1 upon 
4.3 okay and these terms will be zero obviously because we have zero in the denominator okay when we solve this very thing this will come out to be so we can write it like this we have two 1 upon 2 we have 1 upon 2 minus 43 uh, k 4.3 can be written as 43 upon 10 this becomes 10 upon 43 okay rather we have 2 here okay now if we try to solve this so we have 43 minus 20 upon uh, 90 seconds so we have 2 uh, 43 minus 20 comes out to be 23 23 upon uh, 43 into 2 okay so we have 43 into 2 this 2 and 2 will get cancelled we have 23 upon 43 now what is 23 upon 43 we have 23 we need to divide it by 43 first we take the decimal here we have 0 so this comes out to be 43 into 5 5 threes are 15 5 fours are 20 this is 20 5 okay sorry 5 threes are 15 5 fours are 20 and this comes out to be 21 okay then we subtract we have 30 minus 15 is 15 then we take 0 again now we can write uh, 4 threes are 12 so we have 43 into 3 this comes out to be 1 uh, 3 threes are 9 3 fours are 12 okay then we have 10 minus 9 is 1 5 4 minus 2 is 2 okay and take again the 0 then we have 4 threes are 12 so it will be 53.53 okay so i am not sure about the calculation down the line so our guinea coefficient comes out to be 5.53 uh, okay by 0.53 it can be written as 53 percent okay it can be 53 point something so it will be 53.48 actually okay because we got the approximate value is 53 only 53 is 53 is an option so we can safely say our guinea coefficient is 53.48 okay i hope i make myself clear in this video so i have made video on how to find the laws um sorry how to uh, construct the Lorentz uh, curve and how to calculate the Gini coefficient and we have uh, shown it uh, by the integration